All right, go. Hi, my name is Dana Leskowitz. I am the director of the Citizen Lake Awareness and Monitoring Program. This is a program where we have volunteers collecting water quality data on Ohio lakes and reservoirs. The program is sponsored by the Ohio Lake Management Society, and I have with me today Gen Gerstenslager. He is a volunteer with the program, and we are going to give you a demonstration on how we collect this information. This information is used by the local community for making decisions on how they can best manage their lake. We have an online database where we collect all of that information, and graphs and reports are immediately generated. And we also do printed versions of the report, either as a large, it, a large report of all of the lakes, or you can get one lake summary for the lake that you might be interested in. The monitoring equipment that we use, <laughs> the main equipment is called a Secchi disc. You'll notice it's on a long rope. And this is used to measure water transparency. It's basically how cloudy or how clear is the water. It's a black and white disc that's lowered down into the water column. And we are measuring the distance that you're able to see down into that water. So it has a long rope. And we'll give a demonstration once we get out to the shoreline. The other equipment that comes in this bag that we give to the volunteers is a watercolor strip. What we're doing when we collect this information is looking at whether the water is going to be more of a green color or if the water is more a brown color. If it's brown, then we know that it is sediment or dirt in the water that's causing a low transparency reading. Or if the color is more green, then we know it's algae that might be causing low water quality. We also have a ruler that helps us to measure the Secchi disc transparency. We have it marked at the one foot mark with the orange tabs, and then the ruler is used to measure in between those two tabs. The other equipment we use is for temperature. Water temperature and air temperature are collected. Water temperature is done at a one foot depth. The water is collected using this part of this, this float at the top, the surface, and then you're collecting water at one foot depth. Okay. The thermometer goes in, it stabilizes for about a minute, and then the reading is taken in degrees Fahrenheit. And then that information is collected on a data sheet. The volunteers can go online and submit their data themselves. Most of our volunteers elect to instead send the data form down to our coordinator that handles the quality assurance, quality control. And his name is Carl Moore. And he will then input the information into the online database. Reports can be generated right there on that database. The data, you can get linked to the database by going to the OMS website, which is olms.org. And then if you go to the CLAM link, the database is linked right there. And you can get added into the database. Cool. Well, thank you so much for the description. Yep. Well, that was great. Let's, have a, let's, have, a, let's have a demo, huh? <laughs> Without a script. Yeah.